Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 51, where I'm going to show you the select function and how to use a category in the argument of key list within that select function. What I mean by that is I have a sample data set here. I have a couple matrices. In my export matrix, what I want to do is I want to get by account number the amount that I have budgeted across the months by the years, okay? And in my sample data set, I actually have where what I have budgeted as well as maybe I have some actuals. And this is by an account number. These account numbers are not, they are the same, but the list is not the same. That's why they're not linked, okay? And across the top, I have an amount. So that's my metric. And I have that by month and this is by year. So again, what I want to do is I want to take this data and I want to have it be matched up to the account number over here in this export matrix. Now how I could do that is really using a basic using as. It's nothing too fancy here. And if I wanted to do that, I could say, well, I need to create a helper cell because I need to create an item. I could either create that item over here or I could create it here. And then I could link the items that I create here to the category here. And how you would do that is simply by going I'm just going to leave item 2 called item 2 and I'm going to say that is equal to at account number, right? And then I could go ahead and write my using as statement. The problem is, is I really don't want to repeat, you know, my account number for every month. I just, I don't want to do that. It just, it just feels dirty to me. It doesn't feel clean. So I know that I could probably use a select statement. So let me try that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete item 2 here, undo what I did. And I'm going to try using a select statement to bring in the budget. So what happens is I go budget equals, and let me do this in Formula 1 here, budget equals select. What do I want to bring back? I want to bring back the amount budgeted, right? See if that works. And what is my key list? My key list is the account number marketing. Okay, double click on that. And then what is my lookup value? It's at account number here. Okay, when I go ahead and I close that, I get this pound size error. I'm like, well, why does that happen? Well, that happens because I need to also specify here that I want my key list to be at the account number marketing. But if I try to put that at sign here, you know, it says, hey, there's a syntax error. So I'm kind of like, well, can I use a category in my key list? You can. You just need to place your at sign at the beginning of that argument before the matrix name. So once I do that, bam, I get the values back that I would expect to see uh, from this select statement. So again, if I'm going to use in my key list argument, again, the key list argument of my select statement, if I'm going to use a category, I need to go ahead and I need to make sure that I'm putting the at symbol uh, before the matrix name. And that should clear up any pound size errors that you may be having when you're trying to do that with a select statement and using a category in the key list. I hope that's helpful. I thought that was fantastic when I finally figured out how to do that. And uh, it's made my life better. I absolutely love Quantrix. I think it's one of the greatest tools ever made. And I hope to help you become a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority from Rich, from Rich Lopez. And feel free to reach out to me with any of your Quantrix questions. And until next time, enjoy Quantrix.